Hey YouTubers, Grimmy Dragon here, and once again it's review time, and today we are taking a look at the Transformers Power of the Primes. Alchemist Prime and Alpha Trion Prime Masters Wave 2. Yeah, and these are better known as Submarauder and Landmine uh, from the Pretenders line of G1, so it's pretty cool. And this is pretty much the same as Wave 1. These little armor bits, like um, decoy armor as they called, or the pretender shells of old, have only two points of articulation. Movement at the arms. They do have these uh, weapons that they can clip onto, or they just peg into their hands. Just pretty cool. And they just clip onto the back for the uh, weapon modes. Good. And if you open them up, you can get looks at the Prime Masters inside. Which is pretty nice. Oop. And yes, they are just pretty much uh, Titan Masters once again. Got Alpha Trion in the landmine uh, decoy armor. And yeah, well painted by the way. Really looks good. And most of this piece here is actually painted yellow instead of being molded yellow. Nice little fun fact there. But yeah, you got Alpha Trion. Typical Titan Master, Prime Master articulation. Ball jointed shoulders, ball jointed head, hinged hips, and knees all in the same joints. So, yeah, you don't get individual leg movement. And they just transform into these little Prime Master cores. Submarauder, we'll get these out of the way. Submarauder, same idea. Just painted different. Well, he doesn't have any paint on the Prime Master itself except for the core. We just flip over and see if it focuses. Got that core. Zoom out and we'll bring in Inferno because he has a little slot for a Prime Master Core to go into. Just the camera a bit. And we can just slip the core in just like that. And any area that uses a core like um, on Starscream, Alita 1, or Hunger will work as well. And the uh, Prime Master Armors for the Deluxes. But yeah, they can be a little loose in there. So just be warned on that. Now to con these also have these uh, these parts also have weapon modes, so just flip this up, bring this in. You can take the Alchemist Prime Core and just plug it into the... No, oh, make sure it's aligned right, and then plug it in. There we have a sword. That's... Or spear or something that uh, Inferno can wield. And for Albatron, he's exactly the same. Like, the body is actually a retool of Metalhawk, just as the Prime Master is. So the arms, the back, the cannon are exactly the same. The only the uh, 
front chest plate is as different. But for him, put this up, flip the gun handle down, apply the core, and you have a nice little blaster. Just get the metal hawk ready real quick. And yeah, identical gun modes. Or practically identical between Vector Prime and Alpha Trion. But for Alpha Trion, we're going to have them be wielded by Alpha Trion. Yeah, very meta, right? And yeah, he does look pretty good. I'd say this is a very solid uh, version of the toy. I mean,. It's a good landmine. It's a nice pretender. I wouldn't say it's a great Alpha Trion, though. <laughs> like, this big lion guy is more Alpha Trion than the landmine uh, look-alike. So, yeah. I definitely prefer this for Alpha Trion. <laughs> Still, this is a really good toy. And I'm very pleased to have it. And I am also very pleased to have Submarauder. And then we'll bring in, we'll bring back Metalhawk, Skullgrin, and Landmine, just to get our Prime Masters together, or at least their uh, Pretender Shells together. And yeah, I am quite pleased with these guys so far. So anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe, let me know what you think, and I will see you guys next time. So until then, goodbye out there, whatever you are. <laughs>